What's this? You don't think I'm strong enough? You don't think I can finish the game? Well, this isn't even my final form! Haha! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Mario and Overhaul version 3.0. My name is Gamer Zach, and this is my final form. Oh, my brother decked me out for probably the last time. But look at this amazing armor. I don't even know what some of this is, and it looks like I'm not even wearing any boots on this thing. Um, but let's go check out what we have in our inventory. We got Chrysomir, a resist fire cast when used strange weapon, but it's 5 to 70 damage, nice. Adamantium Greaves, Adamantium Helm, a Drew Quiris with Fortify Endurance cast when used. Of course, the Fists of Randagulf, which we had before. Indoril Left Pauldron, Indor Right Pauldron, Indor Rail Shield. A belt of the guard, that's my night eye thing. Exquisite pants, just for kicks. Exquisite shirt, uh-huh. Marara's ring with has constant effect, reflect 20% on self, fortify acrobatics and resist normal weapons 40%. A ring of fireballs, just so we can cast more damaging spells. A star amulet of healing, restore health and fatigue, cast when used. And we have a few other things, amulet of recall, Shock balls. Ah, but we have the shoes of blinding speed. Now, I was told that there are the boots of blinding speed and the shoes of blinding speed. And you don't want to use the boots because when you get hit, the boots can actually get damaged, whereas shoes do not take armor damage, so you never have to repair it. Of course, you don't get the, the armor buff from wearing the boots, but uh, this should work out very nicely. Now, if you guys do not know... Oh, wow, I move so fast. <laughs> This is my walking speed. Oh, wow. Running speed. <laughs> I, I, how about jumping? Uh, I can jump around so much now. I almost can fly just like that. Anyway, if you guys do not know the, the silliness of these shoes of blinding speed, let me just put it on and show you what it does. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your screen. It, it makes you move super fast, but... Uh, it does actually straight up blind you. So let me just go ahead and take those off. But there's a way... I, I somehow moved around that far. But there is a way of putting them on without uh, getting blinded. So what you have to do is... Let's see, I, I should have a spell here. Um, blinding shoes buff. Ah, yes, there we go. Blinding shoes buff. Resist Magicka for two seconds. So all I have to do is cast the spell, and when it's active for that two seconds, during that time, I put on the shoes. And I resist the magic. And although I'm no longer resisting magic, the blindness is only a one-time thing. So now, I should have... Uh, my boots on. There we go. We're moving super fast. Is this faster than before? I'm not sure. Or is that our maximum speed? Let's see. Fortify speed, 200 points on self. So yeah, okay, we can basically run around. I'm not sure if this is working, is this correct? I think it's working. Let me try to take this off. Oh yes, yes, yes. I was moving that fast because I had the boots on. This is my walking speed, uh, running speed. Okay, so that's how it is. We just cast a spell. And while it's in effect, we put the shoes on. Now this is gonna be super handy because we're going to be traveling to a lot of camps and temples. I mean, first off, we have to head back to... Um, my map is still screwed up, yes, I can't fix it. I, I have to head back to the Urushilaku camp, which is all the way over here, I think. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to try travel over that way. I think Nisus is closer that way. Uh, yes. So basically, uh, currently my quest is to get to Nibani Maesa and continue fulfilling the prophecy. So there's going to be more trials, but I think we're going to be doing okay. So let's just go ahead and try find our way back to that camp all the way up in the north. Okay, so here we are in Hla Ode. I took a boat from Eben Heart over to Hla Ode, and now I'm going to take a boat over to Narmok. And 
I'm just trying to reduce as much walking time as possible, even with the Boots of Blinding Speed. It'll take me forever to get across Morrowind. Okay, so here we are in Narmok, and let's see if I can take a boat over to Nisis. Uh, let's see if we can. No, Hulahlaod. And I'm not exactly sure where Hul is. I don't think it is uh, along this way. So we might have to just go ahead and run north from here to try and get to the Urshilaku camp. Okay, so I'm gonna head on that way and we'll see how long it takes me to get there. Haha, <laughs> things are chasing me, but I can just run along these cliffs and escape pretty much everything. Nothing can catch me at this speed. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. It's gonna save me so much time. Look, we've, in just about a minute I've traveled this far. I'll be at the Urshilaku camp in no time. Ah, oh, we've actually walked all the way to Gnisis in about two minutes. <laughs> oh, I guess uh, I didn't need to fast travel all the way over here. Anyway, we're about uh, almost there to the Urshilaku camp. I'm just going to keep heading north and we should be there in, well, a couple minutes then. As long as I don't keep getting stuck on rocks. Oh, there's actually a silt strider here, like right here, and at Hool, which uh, maybe silt striding over to this would have made the travel a lot faster the first time round. Well, for future reference, if you want to get to the Ushilaku camp, you want to get to the Hool silt strider. Anyway, I'm still running through this storm, and we should be there pretty soon, though. Uh, yeah, we haven't really taken much damage from falling off rocks and stuff. So it shouldn't be much longer. Ah, there's the broken ship that we passed the first time round. What's that? Is that a floating bottle? Is that actually loot? Not sure. Go away. Glass jug. Oh. Oh, jeez. Go away. Stupid slaughterfish. Won't let me swim. Hate these things. There, they're all dead. Now, I'm just going to swim over to the Urshilaku camp and... Oh, we will be passing by the Daedric Shrine on the way there. I wonder if we can kill them. Okay, here we are once again at this, sh uh, this shrine where those Daedra pretty much almost killed me last time. And this time, now that I'm level 21 and maxed out on things, I'm gonna see if we can kill them. Come on then. Clan fears are no problem. Stab you in the face. Now where are you, Daedra? The real Daedra. Come on, you gotta be around here somewhere. Creeper? No? Oh, there's something. Ah, that golem thing. No problem. <laughs> Storm Atronach, you die. But are those Daedra around? Nyx, Hound, no. What else is here? Ah, come on then. Flame Atronach is dead. Okay, we're still under attack, but I don't see what it could be. That's still here. Is that it? None of those real Daedra around? There's still a few more of these things. Come on then. <laughs> I'm overpowered! Well, it looks like we won't be having any problems from here on out in terms of combat. I might have some problems on Red Mountain, but looks like for the most part, Daedra are gonna be a non-issue. Anyway, the Urshilaku camp is right here, and we just have to go see Nibani Maesa, which if I recall is here in the Wise Woman's Yurt. And here we go, Nibani Maesa. Hello, it's been May a long time. Worthy of, your attention. of course you are. Uh, you are the one who's going to be giving me my prophecies. Do you have questions about Nervine prophecies? Yes, uh, the lost prophecies. That's right, that's what I'm here for. Uh, actually, that's what I have. You have these lost prophecies? You will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart. And then you will tell me what these priests say. What they see in these words and then you must leave me hunt sleep train feed learn the land 
I must bring these uh, I must bring these things into me and place them before my ancestors and listen to them and to the skies and stars of my dreams and I don't have no idea what you are talking about what my journal has been updated um fifth trial uh first trial these refer to your birth signs Okay, wait, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, let me check my journal. What's it say? I told Nibani Maesa of the Lost Prophecies and what Gilvas Barello said about them. She has told me to leave her while she consults the ancestors in her dreams. I'm to come back when the moons have come and gone. Oh, come back tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, then uh, let's just step outside. The moons have come and gone. What time is it now? It's 6 a.m. So I just have to wait 24 hours. Okay, I'll be back in 24 hours. Oh, that doesn't take very long at all. Okay, it's the next morning. It's 6 a.m. the day after. What was that? Let's hope it's just a sound effect. That sounds pretty scary. Um, okay, wise woman's yet. Uh, Nibani Maisa, you should be prepared this time. I'm ready to give you my judgment. Okay, the ancestors and stars have given me clear signs. The lost prophecies leave me leave no doubt. The incarnate shall be an outlander. You, blessed by Azura, must lift the seven curses of Dagoth Ur. Prophecy has shown the seven steps of the Nerverine's path, and I have been chosen as your guide for each step on that path. I will leave. I will read the signs and show you the way. It is time for you to walk the path of the seven visions and pass the seven trials of the seven visions. Okay. You are born on a certain day to uncertain parents. So you have passed the first trial. My dreams show me that you also fulfill the second trial, that neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of the flesh before him flies. Because I'm immune to corpus now. I have read the signs, but I cannot understand. Can you explain this to me? Oh, tell how I got corpus disease and was cured. That you have overcome the curse of the flesh is strange enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. Am I immune to aging now? Wow. Uh, yet the signs of my dreams are clear. You have passed a second trial, but the third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret to share. Go to Sul Matul, the guardian of our cult, and he shall tell you of the third trial. When you have fulfilled the third trial, return to me for guidance on your next steps on the path of the Nerverine. Okay, Sulmatul is the warrior of this tribe, I think. He's over this side in here. Uh, this one. Ashken's yet? He's an Ashken, correct, Sulmatul? Yes, he is. Sulmatul, you wish to know about the third trial, and I shall tell you. You have entered the path of the Nerverine. This is a hard thing to believe, but Nibani Maesa has spoken to me at length of this. And I have had time to consider. Therefore, I shall keep my own counsel and set before you my own test. I do not dispute with the wise woman, but their ways are not of the ways of the warrior. Many before have tried the path of the Nerverine, but all have failed the warrior's test. You must have strength, courage, and cunning. These things I would test. Nearby lies Kogurun, the ancient halls of the forgotten house, House Dagoth. In recent time, Creatures of the Blight have come to dwell there. I myself went there with some brave hunters and came back again, but it was a bad place. And I'm not ashamed to say I was afraid for myself and my men. If you would have me this, uh, if you would have from me the secret of the third trial, the caverns dark, where Azura's eye sees, you'll first bring me three tokens from Dark Kogurun. Okay. The first token is corpus we oh, corpus weepings. Why would you want that from a corpus beast to show that you are proof uh, against the disease's corruption? Okay. The second token is a cup with the uh, mark of House Dagoth, for I m have myself seen such cups there, and I will know you have seen with your eyes what is seen with mine. The third token is the shadow shield, which lies on the tomb of Dagoth Morin in the lava tunnels deep beneath ruined Kogurun. Bring these things to me and then I will tell you the secret of the third test. Okay. 
Looks like it's a fetch quest into Kogarun. Three tokens, a cup, Corpus Weepings, and um, it's, uh, where is it? It's just southeast of here. What is that noise? I wonder, these noises were not here before. Anyway, Kogarun is southeast of here. And I'm just gonna have to go get those three things. So let's hurry on over. Is this... Are these the things causing the noise? Shut up. Alit. Ah, these things. Okay, there we go. Yeah, those are dead. Okay, let's head on over to Kogarun and see what we can find there. Okay, looks like we're there. That looks like Kogarun. It's that on the map. So that seems right. Um, so let's... Uh, oh, there's a cliff racer, of course. But let's head on into this place and see what we can find. I th sounds like it's filled with corporous beasts, which are not pleasant in any case. Uh, yes, we're under attack again. Probably just... Whoa! <laughs> what, what is this? A sleeper? A dreamer? Okay, that surprised me. Looks like we got a bunch of those things in there. So let's... and a rat. Yes, yes, yes. Let's take a potion of restore fatigue. And... There's ghosts there. This is an enchanted blade, so we can take you out. Come on, then. Okay, so ghosts are a non-issue. Now, there are... Lots of doors here. Temple of Fear. Hall of Fisto... Um... Dome of Pollux Eve and Dome of Urso. Okay, so we got four entrances here. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to go left to right and try find what we need. Left door first. I'm also gonna change a few settings because these footsteps are starting to get a bit annoying. Okay, in we go to the Hall of Fisto. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like a really awkward name. Uh, but here we are. Um, let's switch to local map and we are... What are we looking for? We're looking for three things. Uh, corpus weepings, a cup and that shield. So let's go ahead and uh, kill some things. I'm just going to run through and try find some monsters. Okay, there's a few of these guys in here. Come on, Ben. You're a little tough. Uh, okay, let's see. Ebony Spear, value 10,000. Uh, I think I'll take that. Yes, why not? Um, so there's some loot here. Glass Goblet? That's not the cup we're looking for, is it? Uh, I don't think it is. Well, I'm just gonna keep, uh, walking through this place and going through more doors. Kogurun? Oh, we're upstairs now, are we? So we are. Ah, there's someone. Come on then, dreamer. Yeah, go back to sleep. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's head back inside. Doesn't seem like there's anything out here. And I think I've cleared this place out. Um, I didn't really find much. I'm going to go check out the rest of the complex. Oh, we can actually go to the Hall of Maki from the Hall of Fisto. So these halls are connected, I think. So, we shouldn't have to head outside. Ooh, this looks like something. Ah! Come on, then. Oh, I think I'm invincible now. Glass pot, ceramic pitcher, hound meat. What are we looking for? Ah, I don't see those cups or anything. There's a potion over here. Uh, fortify endurance. And what is with this arrow? Shard, arrow, frost damage. Oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll take that. And a book, uh, which is nothing special. What's through this door? Well, the sound of flies is never good, but maybe it means a corpus monster, which we could take corpus weepings from. Okay, this does not seem pleasant at all. Lock level 20? Lock level 20? Huh. These doors are actually locked. Let's go ahead and equip our pick. Unlock all these doors. Uh, equip our weapon again. 
Now what's behind these doors? What was this? A dead hero? Huh. Ooh, 200 gold. Why am I bothering taking 200 gold? I don't need that. Um, but it seems like these are prison chambers. And here's another dead guy. Another dead hero with not much on him. I guess I could do with that. Um, yeah, there's nothing else here. And then there's one more door which we should check out. And ooh, wow. This guy... Nice. A glass shield, a glass cuirass, fury, which seems like an interesting weapon. And I'll just take that. Okay, so that was... ooh, don't miss that. A glass halberd. <laughs> now this is some loot. Okay, good. So we got that, but that's not exactly what we're looking for. Well, let's continue on for our three items. Oh, here's something interesting. Nabith Waterway, lock level 20. I've been coming down this way and uh, there's this vault of air road. But uh, let's deal with this first. Let me check what my hotkeys are. Master's lock pick is four. So I can go four, unlock it, one. Ah, uh, that's much better. Okay, let's see what this waterway has in store for us. Are we instantly under attack? Nope. Okay. Surprisingly bright down here. But there's a dead guy over here. Skeletal corpse, nothing on him. Ah, some monsters. Ooh, what's down this tunnel? Because I move so quickly, I can actually just escape these monsters. Ah, they kind of blend in though. I still haven't seen any corpus uh, monsters yet. Come on then. What's... What's still ha hit? Oh, I thought you died. These guys blend in with the walls. There's you too. Hard to see with these spellcasters. I'm actually taking some damage here, so I better be careful. But I think I'm doing okay. I'm just heading further down. Ooh, there's some water here. Now this usually means there's some kind of treasure on the other side. Let me heal up. I saw someone around this corner. That's you dealt with. There's you over there. Okay, that deals with everyone. Now, why are we down here? There must be some kind of treasure, right? Bloat spore. Moon sugar. So these guys are high on drugs as well. More moon sugar. More moon sugar. Uh-huh. Is there really nothing down here? Okay, I'm just gonna look around and see what I, what I can find. Oh, look, a corpus monster. Ah, oh, it's about time. Time to get some corpus weepings. Oh, what? You can't reach me. Let's see. What else do I have? Greater fireball. Let's see. Do these spells work? Haha! <laughs> but they're not that powerful. Uh, what else can I... Let's throw a shock ball at you as well. Yes, okay. But come on, let's hit you some. There we go. And we got our corpus weepings. So that's uh, one thing down. Now we just need one of those cups and then... Uh, let's see, we need one of those cups and also that shield, which I have no idea where it is. Oh look, lava pits. That's where the shield's supposed to be. Uh, there's also these fire Achernox, which uh, are actually starting to hurt me. Anyway, I'm in the bleeding heart. I just went through Charma's uh, Charma's breath, and I'm in bleeding heart. But uh, I was told that that shield was down here in the lava pools. So I'm gonna look around these lava pools and see if I can find that shield. And where's my healing spell? There we go. Just need to heal up. Now, back to business. Oh wow, would you look at that? Daedric right gauntlet and left gauntlet. So this place is really filled with loot. Glass stuff, Daedric stuff. 
I still can't find that. Oh, oh, is that it? Shadow shield? Is that what I was looking for? Oh, uh, and an orcish warhammer, which is too heavy, and a corpus meat hunk, which I've already got one, just in case. Shadow shield, that was it, right? Uh, so I go to ancient uh, halls, get three tokens. Corpus weepings from a corpus beast, a cup with the mark of house Dagoth, and the shadow shield. I have a shadow shield, but I'm not sure if I have a cup. I picked up one earlier, but it just says glass goblet. Um, I'm gonna have to look around for one of those cups because I'm not exactly sure where they are. I didn't really see any on the way down. Maybe they're upstairs. What is that? What am I looking at here? And why is this guy so tough? Okay, what is that thing there? Who is- is this a- uh... Oh, this guy's a boss! Okay, come on then! Let's dodge some of his spells. I don't have enough magicka. Damn it, where's my restore magicka? Okay, we can just sidestep and you'll keep missing. Come on then. I can take you. Aha, Dagoth Uthol. Wow, okay, he's got a belt of heart fire. Worth 20,000, okay, and a six house amulet. Okay, come on, I gotta find a cup. I have the six house amulet. I hope there's one of those cups around here. I don't see any. Where's this door lead? The Red Mountain region. Does it actually lead into the Red Mountain? It very much does. Uh, yeah, I, I just crossed right into the Red Mountain. Uh, I definitely do not want to be here. There's people out to kill me and it's a horrible place. Okay, we're heading back in and once we find a cup, we're gonna be out of this place. This place is horrible. Maybe we could check out the Vault of Aerode. Uh, that sounds like it should have some treasure and maybe one of those cups in there. Okay, we're instantly under attack. There's some danger here. Okay, we're okay. So, there's a few doors. They're all just normal doors. It looks like a promising- oh, Bone Lords! <laughs> I can one-hit Bone Lords! Wow, okay. Um, well, let's see. Ash Statue, I got one of them. Grave Dust, Gold. Fortify speed. I don't need this stuff. I need one of those cups. Telvani Dust Adept Helm. Don't think I'll... Well, that sounds interesting. I'll take that anyway. Um, money laid out in a shape of something. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But I'm going to ruin your pattern. And let's see. Potion of Detect Key. Sounds in nice. Uh, exquisite Robe. Don't need that. Uh... I could loot the Bone Lord, nothing there. Still no cups as far as I can see. Well, onwards I go to the next place. There was another door over here somewhere. Uh, I think this was it. What's in here? Oh, that's a nasty looking thing. What is that? Oh, I, I recognize these, this thing, but I forgot what it's called. Come on then. Dagoth? Oh, is that a Dagoth? Lower Koguran key. Why do I need a key to go there? Another six house amulet. So I just killed two Dagoths here. Um, and still, I don't really see what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm gonna come back when I actually find that cup. Okay, we're back outside and I don't think it's anywhere in there, but I noticed that uh, I was not traveling in these other temples. Temple of Fae or this Dome of Urso, or Dome or uh, Temple and Dome and Pollock's Eve. And then the cups might be in some of these. Okay, so let's check out Pollock's Eve and see what we can find in here. We are under attack, of course. Everything's trying to kill us in this place. Let's deal with you. So you're dead. Now, let's look around for that cup. Ooh, is that one? That is one! A House Dagoth cup! It's valued 500, and it looks like it's filled with blood of some kind. Uh, steaming blood. Ah, a lovely beverage. Anyway, that's the three things that we were supposed to get. I would spend my time searching the complex, and turns out the cup was out here. Um, huh. 
So that was no issue at all. So let's head back to Urshilaku camp. And actually looking at my map, I think it is actually kind of fixed because these places are in the correct point. I did change the settings around, so I guess my, yeah, these big squares are now wrong and they will disappear when I travel over them because you can see Urshilaku camps on the right coast. And here's Kogurun next to Red Mountain. Okay, so my map is fixed. Aha! There was actually a setting. Let me just walk back to the Urshilaku camp. There was a setting that uh, was in the overhaul, which basically it changed the, the size of the map to fit uh, a mod, which actually added extra land around uh, Morrowind, like the mainland of Morrowind. And that's a mod which you can download separately. So I accidentally turned on the, the fix, which fixed the map if I had that mod installed. But I did not have that mod installed, so that's why my map was so screwed up. But now it seems like my map is fixed and back to normal. And yeah, because these two, I was heading to these because I thought this was the Urshilaku camp. But turns out my map's fixed and it's all fine and dandy. So we got the three things Sulmatul wanted us to get. Now we just have to traverse these cliffs back to the camp and we will have finished this uh, quest. Okay, here we are back at the Urshilaku camp. And now, Sulmatul, I have your three quest items. Hello, Sulmatul. Yes, you can. If you have brought me the three tokens of the warrior's test, I can speak to you further of the third trial. I am impressed. These three tokens you have brought me, you may keep them. Oh, nice, thanks. You have passed the warrior's test, and I will give you the secret of the third trial. In caverns dark, Azura's eye sees and makes to shine the moon and star. This is the third vision, and you must go to the cavern of the incarnate, a place sacred to Azura, and look for the moon and star. The secret of the cavern of the incarnate is set in riddle. The eye of the needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of the pearl. The dream is the door, and the star is the key. This riddle is wisdom's test. Take counsel of the wisdom of the tribes, and you shall find the way. Seek the cavern of the incarnate, gain the moon and star, and bring it to Nibani Maesa. Take with you my blessing and the blessing of our tribe, Malipu Ataman's belt. Oh, okay, so that's the end of this quest. We got our reward. We got our reward. And we got a belt, uh, Malibu's Restore Health and Fortify Agility, not like we really need that. Uh, and we got our next quest, we have to seek, uh, take counsel of the tribes and get that moon and star thing or whatever it is. Anyway, that is the end of this mission. We managed to go kill some Dagoths, uh, we had a glimpse of Red Mountain. Looks like I'm getting famous, this place is getting sandier, and that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.